Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO. Where last episode, guys, we managed to come back from the brink of almost certain bankruptcy to slowly turn a profit. Now, we've got a million in the bank. It's a... it's miraculous how it even happened. I have no freaking idea. But we managed to turn things around. We had to sacrifice this little kind of um, wing here, this little terminal section, in return for kind of researching as much as we can with the fuel stuff so we could start selling to the planes, getting some very, very basic baggage stuff set up too, which has made us some money. We got a little store, and we also got some bathrooms, which we're charging like, through, the, through the nose right now for them to use it. Now, last episode, I did as much as I can. Turns out, the big money was to be made in fuel, and it really helped us that I renegotiated the fuel price. Is there, like, something in the way? There's a cow in the way right now. What is going on? Something that I also tried to do to save a bit of money is why I put the baggage area here. Turns out they won't use it, and it was causing some big issues. So what I had to do, and it's really hilarious, I've had to kind of zone <laughs> this small little path coming through. Because they'll only collect the bags after passport kind of control. That's what I've noticed. Did not realize this. So once they go through there, I've had to kind of wing them all through here. Hopefully we'll set a better system up right now. But I need to make it so much more efficient. i got to make this place as efficient as I possibly can. Now today, I want to kind of, um, like I said, make it more efficient. Get the security area set up in a better system. Same for the passport control, both going through and exiting the international areas. Setting up a better baggage claim system right now, because this one is... Uh, it does the job, but it was only there just so I can have the baggage to start charging money. But I actually create a, a proper system right now so they can collect their bags after all of those kind of areas. And then... I want to take a look at kind of automating the process of them getting on and off the planes. Because the quicker I can turn these planes around, the more money I'm going to make. Now, I'm not going to place any more stands. I know a lot of you guys want me to place some more stands at the moment. But it's not until I've made this system efficient that I'll have the confidence to do so. Now, I've been giving it a lot of thought right now. I've been giving it a lot of thought. And the thought process is, with what I currently got, I know I've got a lot of these passport kind of checkpoints right now. With what I got here, supplements everything here, which goes really well. So I'm thinking, rather than create like a a, a full-on area for passport control, because there's going to be so many people coming through, do you reckon it would just be better if I had these kind of small little kind of sections as they enter and exit the whole concourse section here? I think it would, but I don't know. We'll see how we get on. So, guys, if you enjoyed this, want to see more, smash a like button down below. If you're already here, make sure you do subscribe so you can know if I remember when I supposed to come out. Damn, I said that so damn fast, so you best smash that like button. So, what I need to do then is, from the point that they um, kind of check in on the boarding, uh, the check-in desk, sorry, they've got to go through security. Once they go through security, they go down the stairs, they walk all the way down here, up here, and then into passport control. Now, the more I extend the airport, the more I'm going to need of these facilities. So what I'm thinking of doing is, is moving the security, because all of this will be boarding desks. Move this upstairs. So once they kind of get under the boarding desk, they're checking in that kind of sense. They go upstairs, then they go through security, and then here, where we got the, the kind of staircase going down, we set up a nice little system where they can go up and down. Uh, two floors to get to the bottom and then we'll do walk your laters <laughs> walk your later. No, I'll walk you right now boy hilarious jokes in here Absolute hilarious joke. Where did you come up with that right now? So I've got an idea, but I don't know whether it's gonna play out as well So if I put that there that is borderline there and it kind of works. So if I drop you uh, Yeah, if I drop one there one there, so I'm kind of Breaking this down kind of slightly backwards if that makes sense So if I did this wall going around here and then do the same here I'm wondering if I can create a system of where we do a kind of uh, a free lane approach So on the right and the left these two sides is when you're walking to the um, airplane and then the middle one is when you're walking from the airplane. You see where this is going? This might be a pretty cool system. 
which leads us to having the um, walk you no escalators <laughs> up to here which I then need to kind of flip them around and um, oh that's the point I can't flip them around because you can't go back up that way but I could definitely pull it there to go up to this floor but again I can't go to that floor because we gotta build it so all that money I saved all that money I saved right now I'm about to spend it on freaking a second floor this best be worth it guys it best be worth it right now right my employees my contractors they're slowly on the way this is a big ask a big challenge to get done whilst still trying to keep the airport functional hilarious right, i'm hoping that this is going to work and there's going to be no dramas here i'm hoping it doesn't knock down that wall no we're good we're all good boys it doesn't knock down the wall so yeah it does what it's got to do they pop up to there so i then that then there i gotta bring them up another floor which i kind of do need to delete these but at the same time i need to kind of build all this so for now right they can use that that's not a problem so i'm gonna delete oh no not delete the the uh, foundations just delete those two uh, escalators right now because they can still use them ones so i'm trying to set up my plan of action I need so many more janitors as well because the trash is unreal. It is unreal. So get rid of the wall that kind of separates them. We don't need that. Very good, very good, very good. And just let our contractors do what they got to do. It's going to take a, a long, long time to get all this set up. But it's okay. Because we can plan this out so much better. So the exit in, that upholds fine. The enter in not so much we'll need to place more of those in but i think eventually i'll probably do like a better layout system to these because it, it looks kind of weird I, I also want to create a second floor on this so they can start entering via the jetway is it a jetway or a jet walk what's the correct term it's a jetway isn't it i think so um right so they've got rid of the stairs okay and i want to bring them up to the next floor now i can't technically bring them up to the next floor just yet because you have to don't you have to zone? No, you don't have to zone it, do you? Uh, escalator comes up. Oh, the exit. No, okay, we don't have to zone it just yet. But I want to bring it up again. So, and then the space there is only got space for one. But do we have a wall going around it? We do. Oh, this works perfect, guys. This almost works too perfect right now. So if I had... No, actually, no, because they, they can enter in here. Oh, I can do the baggage claim here. Oh, this is kind of dope. This is kind of dope. Um, So the baggage claim was there. That means I've got all this area here free. Oh, I'm so much room for activities right now. So much room. So, yeah, like I said, I can't place it up because you, you can't pass escalators through securities, different security zones, if that makes sense. So, I've got to make this also um, a secure area. And I'm thinking now, how much space do I give it? Do I just go for a, a shabam? Wham, bam, shabam, thank you, my man. Something like this to the next floor I think so I think so I'm going to eventually wall all this off as well this is just so I can work with this upstairs area this is all dead space around here but what we can do with this because this kind of upstairs section will be the entry section to the kind of area here so it ain't all going to waste it's not all going to waste it's got away from to kind of complete all this area so you might be thinking, Sonny, I have no idea what you're doing right now. <laughs> Trust me, this is going to be a freaking genius idea. So if I get it into plan then with how the rest of it is going to go, basically, right, I can actually do the walls going down. Basically, right, if you're getting on the plane, you're walking down either the left or the right side. Okay, you're walking down the left or the right side. And if you're exiting, you're walking straight down the middle, straight down the middle. And then you'll claim your baggage in this area. And then we'll have little exit sections to kind of funnel them out to where they need to go. So if I just now kind of quickly build around. So that's coming down. 
There we go. So they're basically like the flipped version of these. So they're coming down. That will obviously eventually... I'll eventually have straight lines. Oh, then that will be kind of awkwardly open, wouldn't it? Would I have anything down here? Would they need to come down the floor? Because they're up. I kind of could. But that also will be kind of awkward. So it might be a case of where I maybe just kind of put that across there. And then just create it as one big room just here for now. So I wouldn't need to do these walls there or there. Yeah, okay. So that becomes a room in itself. Again, I can't close it off because I need them to use it at the moment. Right, have we built up here? <coughs> As I slowly choke, um, we get in there. We do need to turn it all into a... No, actually, no, this doesn't need to be a secure area. So now, right, I've got to figure out where we would want them to then get up to this floor. So they go for the boarding desk here. And what, however I do this is going to be replicated, moving all the way down. So I could have it against the wall here. I could have it like that. I feel like I should have it like this. It makes sense. And then... Hmm. So if I did... Okay, so there is a pattern here where there's a... That's like a two block gap before it touches the edge of them walls. So they walk down here up, which will bring them up to there. Which will replicate this going all the way down. And that will be how they get up to the second floor here to then go through security. To then go down and then out. Right, in my head, I've got it planned out. <laughs> how it's going to play out is a completely different story. So security wise, we got to figure out this all over again right now. So I know that they are... They're a 10 by 10, aren't they? They are a 10 by 10. Now, I've got to be careful how I do this. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. A 3 or a 4. So if I did a 10 by 10. 10 by 10. 10 by 10. I could do another 10 by 10. So that is going up. That is four. So that's four. And then I've got room here for another 10 by 10. Oh, okay. So 10 by 10. So that's five. Cancel. Oh, damn it. Cancel this one. Oh, cancel that. Go over by one more. Cut this back. I'll tell you exactly why in just a second. But basically, we should be able to get five going up in a row. So five going up in a row right now. If I mimic this over on this side. So we want it away. Going all the way up. 10 by 50. Now granted it's not going to be like that. Oh, do I need it to go all the way over? Because it'll be there. Which means they'll enter here. Okay. Right, okay. Pause. Because this is where I've now got to figure out. What I'm, if what I'm doing right now is going to work. So one, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> one, two, three. Now, I can only do four here solely because they need to walk down in that direction. So if I did that... The reason I've got a five gap there is because we've got five of these, which means five queues coming down. That does seem quite wide. But it's in line with this. And that's the the main factor that I'm basing this completely off. Because that then lines up to down there. I'm hoping this plays out well. That's what I'm hoping. So obviously this will go all the way down. And just kind of meet to there. And then we would pretty much want to replicate this. But it, me, it also it kind of relies on me replicating this. So if I copied and pasted right now. And if I okay, claim this area here. Like that. So I want to copy this. I know it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
it's five away. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five. Then I'll go one, two, three, four, five. So then that would go there. And if that is correct, that should be, that's a 10. That's a five. Wait, that's a six. Oh, no. So then I'll take it. That there is a 17. That there is a 33. So a seven, it should be one. It should be by one more. Wait, no, it shouldn't be by one more. All right, so that is. Oh, no, it was, it was right. It's because that's part. It's because that is part of the freaking escalator, that floor section. Oh, I'm so dumb. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> One. No, 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 because now I'm, I'm doing it wrong based off that. Right, okay, let's do like this then. So, a five, a five, a five, and then we should have the gap there, there, because that's part of the escalator. Jeez, guys. Jeez, come on, Sediac. Come on. Boy, get your head in the game right now. So that would go there. All right, let's get rid of them secure areas real quick. Yikes, man. Anyway, that puts us back up to here. <laughs> so then I can sort the rest of this out. So we're going over by one. So over by one is to here, and I'm going to go... Over by one to there. So there to there. 34 straight up. And that should allow me then to place a bunch more down. So security wise, large. Spin it around. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that means I'll have four, eight, 12. 16, 17, and I've currently got 3, 6, 9, 12. So I've got 17. 17 versus 12. That's, that, is, that is a huge jump up. So that is going to play play it really well. I've got this here ready for the next kind of concourse when I kind of eventually add that in. <laughs> I ain't going to play it in just yet. We'll kind of hold out for just a moment, guys. Hold out. So... Get them building all that, it's now kind of stepping us towards what I need to get done. So, for now what I'll do is just cover all this in the uh, secure area. Because I can eventually, when I get to this point, make these kind of checkpoints go further up as they funnel down here. It just depends on how we kind of pull ourselves to this area. <coughs> so, that's all good. They can actually use this. If I had security guards right now working there, they can actually go up there and they'll actually use it. So, I mean, it's not weird or unheard of. Which, if I now delete all of these and get the security guards working on these, which I'm probably going to have to now hire more security guards to, uh, or security officers, should I say, to work on these. But the guards are coming over. Granted, yes, I've got to do all the queuing systems. <laughs> I've got to do all the queuing systems. I'm well aware of this. <clears throat> and eventually I'll do... Yeah, I'll eventually get them all in. So that will funnel everybody through right now. They're all working. There's 17 of them. A lot more than what we originally had before. They all go to here. They can perfectly easily kind of transfer down, which is fine. Now, at the moment, they're using both sides. Or well, using the same kind of directions or using the one side. But that's now locked us off. So all I've got to do right now is figure out how I want to change the approach of this. So obviously down here, do I then just get them to kind of funnel out this way, which will lead up to there? But I could pull that back to here. Now let's say I pulled that back to there. And there. Now the brick wall can go across. 
I can't pull it there because the thing is up above. But once that's in, I can then close that off. And I'll have that just go down to here. And then we'll have like a bunch of baggage claim areas going around. <clears throat> it should work out. I don't know whether it's going to. But it should. They're now in. So if I built the wall here. So they come up to this way. And if I close the wall off there. I know it seems like a weird design. But it will work. This will work. And we'll make it all nice and stuff. So that means that they should now... Yeah. So they now exit through the middle. Which will actually have the baggage claim area here. Oh no, that person's stuck. Um. Um. <laughs> how did you even get there? How? How did you get here? I don't know how to get you out. Alright, if I delete that, and it maybe they might get out. Yikes. Excuse me, sir, you can't you can't park your vehicle there. All this to get one dude out. Right, where's my where's my contractors? There we go. Oh, wrong button. Oh no, wrong button again. Dude, you can get out right now. There we go. Pause. All right, nobody else try that, please. Nobody else try that. So, yeah, I, there's a bit of tripping over here, but eventually, because that will lead out into other areas. Because they're going to go further back than this up to there anyway. So, we'll have walker letters down to make them kind of sprint down here a lot easier. And they won't kind of go so diagonal, because we'll have it all set up. Got one both sides because they will eventually exit over here this way. And I probably kind of you this. So we got a straight walkout exit. So again, back with this. This is just my testing phase. So if I brought this to here, if I just run that up for now. So we should technically, hang on, secure areas again. Have that going down to here. And then obviously going down so far. But the security side, the exit. Where does it go? Two exit points there. Get rid of that one. And it leaves us all open here to kind of like do something with it. What I don't know. It'll probably just be more boarding desks to kind of check it. That's probably what it will be. So they're exiting this side. They can go that side. But obviously that seems like it's the quicker route by the looks of it. But I'm going to get rid of that. So then it should start popping up here. Yes. And then I can get the wall going straight down. And we're pretty much up and running. No stress, mate. No stress. So that sorts then. Providing we still... I mean, you want to get the queue system, it would be a lot better. i got to put the queue system on these. But that now funnels people through a lot easier. Uh, granted, i gotta do, I got to sort this out. So again... Just to kind of show my hand, I'm just going to do this. I don't know what might go around it. It'd probably be the entry point to both sides of the terminal that way. So, you know, it's not lost. But there we go. Some might say slightly awkward, but it does the job. The logistics are there. So, in reality, you check in here. You go up the stairs through security. You walk down here, go down an escalator. You go down another escalator, walk down to find your concourse, up you go in, you're here. If you exit in, you go down the escalator there, straight down the middle one. Here will be the baggage claim area. Click your bags, go up that escalator here, and then out. It's actually quite a short distance to walk. It's not that overly complicated, is it? <clears throat> it's not that overly complicated, so I think what we need to do right now then is get rid of the baggage area here and get it placed actually here <laughs> so okay i'm gonna build some more kind of uh terminal here 
And I'm going to get it going across by a 10 by 10 that way and a 10 by 10 that way. So let them build that then because we can have, we can have, we're going to have to have, you know, for every sticky out bit, basically, I need a separate baggage claim area. And then we have to funnel all of the, uh, the bags to that area too. So again, it's going to be interesting. So while I wait for that to happen then, do you reckon we should slowly start building some of uh, the uh, queue systems? I think so. So I could I could literally go and just do the wiggle. The standard wiggle, mate. <clears throat> to there. I'll do this one as well. It'll be nice to see him actually use it. So how I'm doing it is, I'm doing it to the length of the actual desk. I'll only do a couple. Because they are it's it's they're very tedious and boring to get done, aren't they? But we'll have them going all the way through anyway, and it'll just kind of not cause this overcrowdedness and just have some some general organization, which will be good. <laughs> I said I'm gonna do I'm only gonna do a couple. I've done two. Right, how are we getting down? Oh, okay, they've done pretty well already. So delete all this. Delete all that. Delete all that. Now, it still needs to be the secure area. So, once they've got it all gone, I'll then place all the zoning down. Build a couple of baggage loops. Oh, is there someone there? No, there's a bit of trash from where that dude was just hanging about the damn fool. Kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, right. <clears throat> so get you done. Oh, messed up there, didn't I? Get you done. Get you done. So then we can place in our little baggage claim areas. Now we know they work in a secure area because that's how I've got them set up here. There's a lot going on because we have a lot of passengers. So. Okay, right, let's build our first one then. So baggage belt, conveyor, and yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how we get this done. I mean, I can always extend further down if I need to do like an additional one. But uh, okay, so I'll, I'll first actually place in some seat because they do like to sit and wait for the bags. And if I base it off this one, so if I go one, two, one, Two. So if I did that, that gives me then an idea of where I could take this baggage section. So if I went to there, which would be to here. So that is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that will be going across that way. Is this too big of a little baggage claim area? I think I'll make it go two seats wide. So do one there. No, we'll go three. And this will be this one. I mean, I know it's huge, but, you know, it could have up to six planes dropping bags on this. So that's what we got to think of, right? So we've gone out one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. There we go. That's our first one. Got some nice seating around. And then how we'll make it work is we'll bring that directly down and then place the, the ramp up, which will go like there, down here. So now I've got a reroute. I can't even see where it is. I've got a reroute. I'll go down again. Uh, this one. <clears throat> down to there. So if I first just focus on the actual conveyor belt. 
So it will go down there, so it will basically pop up here. And yeah, this is going to be my issue. I've got to make it go down again. To pop back up. So, going down. And then on that one here, we make it go up. So go across like that. And then where do I meet this? So this gets... Oh, I should have stayed down. Shouldn't I? Yeah. Alright, bring in that. Oh, messed that up then. Bring in that. To about there. Oh, should I be doing high speed on this? I mean, it's more expensive. I can, I can maybe eventually change it in the future. Alright, delete you. Delete you and you. There's no need to do that. So then if I just quickly make this the baggage area. So I'll always go one bigger than what it actually is. There we go. Uh, wait for him to delete that. Then I can sort this out. See how many people are waiting? It just makes sense, doesn't it, to kind of create a bigger space, a bigger area. My only concern is that I should have used the high-speed uh, belts. That's my only concern. Hmm. You can't even upgrade him either. I see. I'll, I'll just see how slow it's going to be first. So right, first things first. Then we're going to delete everything here. Delete to there. They're not going to like it, but it's tough. tough at the end of the day. Uh, baggage to go down. So i got to place this here once I once it's deleted. <clears throat> Alright, come on workers. Right, there we go. So that will go down here. Straight to here. I need to kind of connect this baggage bay to there. So then this one. I then delete. So it don't exist no more. I still don't have the baggage scanner either. That's really bad, isn't it? That I don't have the baggage scanner. Alright, wait for them to build that little ramp down. And it should be then going all the way to this area. I've got oh I've got to open it up. So I just wait for him to build this and it's gotta double check that the bags do go all the way. Now I know I should have used a high speed one. <clears throat> but I'm thinking the distance that everybody has to walk, by the time they get there, the bag should be waiting. <laughs> Maybe, who knows? <laughs> um, right, okay. Okay, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So, which now actually means I can put the international zoning back down here. To there. And they'll walk all the way down here. And they'll wait there for their bags, if they've got any anyway. So, like I said... All going to plan, kind of. It's all going to plan. So we've. Oh, are they checking in here? <clears throat> oh wait, are these? Oh, I think they're using that because. Is it because we had no baggage area before? There we go. Let me click on this. I was going to say, because we cloned all that, are they checking in from there? But uh, the answer is no. But um, it's fine anyway. It's fine. Security is fine. Going through here is fine. No bags just yet. 
Oh, did it? Would it have turned off the baggage system? Yes. Okay. I thought it would have. That's why they're checking in an, on, like, on any desk right now because there's no need for the bags, so they don't use a certain type of boarding uh, checking desk. Sorry. So that we've made that more efficient then. We've still got a million in the bank right now. The money's still coming thick and fast. So they'll all go back to using this side of the desks. So yeah, they uh, check in through security. Down they go. Down they go. Running through here, which I'm going to put some walk letters in just a moment. Up here, through passport control in the terminal they are, waiting for the plane. So let's make this process a little bit quicker for them now. So the walk you laters. So I can put it here. So if I drop the one, two, one, two. And then do I do a two gap again? No, I do a two gap at the end. These are 45 grand, by the way. And do the same going the opposite way. So they can walk up and down here so much quicker. It's going to be so cool to see them running. Yes, the baggages are coming in. So, yeah, you could probably argue, yeah. High speed conveyors. Because there's a few waiting. Let's be real. The bags are coming. But again, it, it does what it needs to do. Then again, now I get these down, there's going to be even more people coming. So yeah, I think, again, eventually, if I build any more, I'll use the high speed ones. Um, and eventually I will replace these, the high speed too. But they're now claiming the bags here. The what? Look how quick they are on the walk layers. Yo. Okay, that's a that's a big help. That really is a big help right now, which means I can then enclose this back again. So I'll bring it to here. Now we go over by a three by the end of it. So there's a one, two, three. So the wall goes down there. And you might be questioning, yo, Sediac, this is a little bit too close, right? Well, no, because eventually we're going to have the set up upstairs. We're eventually going to have an upstairs to get onto board the airplane. So this will just literally be where the shops are, the toilets are, the restaurants are. Then they go up a floor to get onto the plane. So that's all good. All I got to do right now is make this system a little bit nicer, a bit more efficient. Now, it already is efficient, don't get me wrong, it already is efficient, but it would be nicer to get it a little bit crisper and cleaner. So I'm going to delete this here, I'm going to push it back slightly, so I utilise a little bit more of this space. But I'll keep that one in so I don't interrupt the service. Oh, I need to put a door on for these guys, for the terminal. So, large door. Just there. Is it still kind of designated as a secure area? Yeah. Oh, wrong button. Now, does that need to be an international section as well? Or does this, are the staff immune to it? I think they're slightly immune to it, right? We'll soon find out. Alright, they not delete. Okay, they've just deleted this. Good stuff. So, the escalator. So, I've just got to figure out right now to get it there. I can place it here. Which will put it perfect place in to enter here. So, I'll utilize a bit more of this space. Once I've built that, I'll delete that one. Now, this does seem to work. Alright, it does seem to work all this. I don't know whether to just delete up to there for now. And then just bring them in a bit more. Because I'm going to move this. So we'll have the wall there. Which then the wall will be mimicked just here. 
So going down. Going across to there. I want to delete that bit of wall that I've just placed down. Oh, I don't know, guys. I don't know what they're even doing right now. Right, that's built. I can get rid of this one. Right, I'm just making sure everything is all coming to plan still. Alright, they got rid of that wall. Good. What's wrong with all those people stuck in the wall right now? <laughs> I have no idea. Right, I just want to get this here. Are they deleting it? Yeah, it's taking some time though. Always so slow, aren't they? <clears throat> They're always so slow. Alright, drop you there. So then finally that goes there. The secure area covers to here. And... Do you know what? I don't know whether I want to push that out now. But I reckon there'll be a kind of section where, you know, that that's, that's your lot. Passport automated. So if I took it to there, do you reckon that's got to be the maximum that I would need? What do you reckon? I know I need, I'm going to need some more up there. I, I, I know that. But, um, yeah, it's a interesting one. Run that wall to there. I'm literally now going to place them back in, aren't I? I'm so... Sadly, I got it's your problem. So that goes to there. That will go to here. <sighs> so foolish. And then that... How does this one go here, then? Like that, doesn't it? And if it... that, that I mean, that's literally all it would need to be, wouldn't it? That's literally all it would need to be. And then I just have to create upstairs if I want the jetways to kind of come into play. All this to make sure it's more efficient, so, so I can get more eventually more planes coming in that dude is in a legal position right now so I've literally got to tell him that he's allowed to walk in there for a split second this will be able to handle everything that's going on so should we attempt to build our upstairs section now we'll give it a go. So if I first kind of play it out, that's where the entry point of the gate is. So if that's like that, and then I would want to set up down below. <clears throat> The lift go or the escal the es yeah escalator going up, or should I just kind of tile the whole top of it? Yeah, why not? But we'll do it. I mean, this is going to be so much of a jigsaw right now. I'll only do it to here though. Yeah, okay. I knew it to there because it literally mimics that bit there. And I'll, I'll, I'll see what kind of design I can come up with. 
But you also have automation for, you know, boarding people on a plane as well. Which would be really handy. So we'll wait for that to happen. It's going to take a while for them to build that. But yeah, that passport control works perfectly well. Then more calculators work really well. Baggage probably needs the high-speed um, bag stuff. Just to get it there a bit quicker. But again, works really well. Security works really well. Uh, the check-in desk here could work well. But I've also got to extend this. Now, hang on. We'll do one. So one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 40. Is that 14? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Yes. So then this should come pretty close to it, right? So, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Gives it a little bit of walking space there. Breathing space, as they say. Yeah, that works perfectly fine. That works perfectly fine. Right, they're getting close to completing all of that. And then once we got that up there, we can get them check it well, onto the plane a little bit smoother, a little bit easier. I can then completely sort out the inside of the terminal. The stores, which, you know, I'll make them all walk for a store. Because we won't have any of these down here, because it'll all be upstairs. I can sort out a proper um, kind of toilet area, restroom, and just have more stuff going on, more entertainment, just to make them a lot more happier. So for the first time ever, we got a Green Star and Airline Satisfaction. I mean, the only thing that they're kind of moaning about right now is the prices of everything that they're paying. Uh, again, eventually, once I'm making money, I'll reduce it to make them all super happy. Security is not that too happy. I mean, I do need a baggage scanner. That's one of them. <laughs> I don't even have a baggage scanner right now. Um, I, I also need to eventually um, kind of make them have a, or give them a staff room, don't I, to make them uh, take breaks. So get rid of all that, which would would potentially be uh, walls. So still waiting a while to get it all done. And then we can get things all set up. <coughs> Haven't even got seats for them to sit down in a terminal. It's hilarious, isn't it? It truly is. Yeah, there's high speed um, conveyors. Because, I mean, because we've got the walk letters, they get there a lot quicker right now. So they're getting there now before the bags are getting there. So that's my only downside at the moment with the baggage system. But next episode, though, we're definitely 100% going to be adding in more stands. Now we've got the kind of system set up to be efficient. Yeah, now we've got these systems in place. It'll be easier now to kind of expand on them. Really would. Kind of excited. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of excited. Um, Right. Right, 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 right. Are they done yet, guys? What is going on? So, Terminal, then. I've, I've never actually done the automation side of them checking in up here this is all new to me so desks i have the boarding desk i have the normal medium the normal small and we have then the south boarding one must be placed in a secure area oh yeah, yeah 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 yeah. this whole thing needs to be a secure international area doesn't it now i place that down am i gonna have to do it again yeah for the little gaps And then it needs to be an international zone too. And then the desks, the... What is it? South boarding. 
So if I was to do it here, for example. Right, how does it work down below? So if I was to do it here, if I gave it a two gap. Two there. Okay, I messed that up. I, was, I just want to try and attempt to do something different, is the best way to pull it. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it means we can pass 10 through at once, as opposed to what you could normally do. Oh, I just realised something. Do I have to then get click in individually each 10 and then add it to it? Oh, that's going to be annoying. So if I can sort out a approach, I can then decide where my um, escalators are going to go. I might just kind of like design like a, a central section to go up and down. Oh, could you imagine 10 at once? Like, because you can say there's one either side, if if there is two that board on at the same time. Do we have a plane where people are boarding yet? No, we've only got this plane here at the moment. Is it fully unboarded? Right, is it now going to board people? Now, does it do one each side, or is it just one at a time? Right, the, 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 is it one each side? Are they going on yet? At what point did they get to go on? Okay, now they're going on. It's one. So basically, you can say there, there's four in total. Four in total. What's taking my workers so long to build? Do I need to build the upstairs section? I think I might. Need, yeah, I need, might need to build the um, the escalator then for them to get up there. So that is free away. That is free away. So I know we are at a perfect kind of gap. To do two there. Actually, pause. Can I delete? Instead. How am I going to figure this one out? So I went, so it's a three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I'm gonna pause. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Would go here. So I put it there, because then up here, it's centralized. No, that's completely off. That's where These should have gone. Off. Then the escalators are centralized to the second floor. That's what I'm trying to go with right now. They're centralized to the second floor, which to me is more important. That means oh, they've built these already. So then, yeah, it's it's a case of connect the stand. Wait, how? So how does the dismiss aircraft repair? Uh, oh, oh, is it build jetway? Jetway alterations can't be made while the ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, turn. Can I? No, oh, can't turn that desk off. Yikes. All right, can I upgrade you? Right, that's got a jetway. Has it also got the downstairs section? Oh, it completely replaces the downstairs section. Right. This is going to throw me completely off now, isn't it? So for these... I've done it where there's a... I mean, I don't know what it is anymore. A two down, a two back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Is that too much? It's too much, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five. Right, I've done five each side. I'm going to upgrade. Build. Okay, hand in the flight. Can't do anything about it. These guys are going to have to go back down to then come back in. Hmm. We'll at least get one of them working. Okay, they're now going back down. They're now, they, they understand the concept at this point. They understand the concept. All right, they've come up. And then obviously they will spend their time waiting. Eventually when you get seats down, that they'll sit down and relax. Or can I do it now? Yes. So then, I've got to connect each one. Individually. So because of the nature of this being at the very end. We have to do a row 10. Where the other ones can be a row of five either side. So we're interested to see how this works. Oh, did that automatically connect? Oh, wow. Some of them automatically connected. It, it knew, guys. It knew. It freaking knew. Well, this is different. Passions can't make it through. Oh, wait, 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 what? You do realize you just got to go down the floor, right? What are you talking about? Customs. You just got to go down the escalator. Are they having a moment? Or is there something truly wrong? Is there something truly wrong here? That I'm missing out on? Well, whatever I did there kind of seemed to make some of them move. And also, they're now... Wait. Oh, wait. Hold on. Have I got this the wrong way around? Oh, I've got them facing the wrong way around. I'm so dumb. I don't know how I didn't spot that. So I've got them facing the wrong way around. Fine. Fine. But they're now able to hit the jetway, which means I can turn plane, planes around a lot quicker. So I'm now going to get rid... Can I get rid of these even though? How, how do I delete them? I don't know. But I need to figure it out. <laughs> but I think I'll leave it for here. Because I've done so much. My brain is completely frazzled. So they can arrive at the airport. They check it. They go up to security. Through here. They go down. Two floors. Hit the walk a million miles an hour. Up here, through passport control. And then they can go to the toilet, browse, do some shopping. And when they're ready to get onto the plane, they go up a floor. Through the south kind of boarding desks, onto the jet walk, into the plane. And then vice versa, they get off the plane, they go down, do some shopping, go to the toilet, through passport control. Down the walk later, get their bags, up the, escal uh, the escalator, yeah, and exit, off they go. This is genius. If I do say so myself. It's just now expanding it and taking it a whole step further. Guys, if you enjoyed it, smash that like button down below. If you're new around here, make sure you do subscribe. But until next time, I'll see you all soon. So